Okay, we're at the DMV stand now, and this is Diderek. And uh, tell us a little bit about the work that you do here. Hi, well, great. Yes, well, we're um, here from Friesland Campina and uh, DMC, DMV in specific. And uh, we look after uh, the food applications, uh, more detailed uh, performance nutrition segment. We've seen a great, uh, great boost in that, uh, that area, new uh, consumers entering uh, the category. And uh, yeah, we've got a great product. We have uh, dairy proteins uh, that we are uh, marketing. And uh, from an nutritional point of view, it's great in quality. Uh, it's got all the uh, amino acids that you, that you require. And um, for this show in specific, we are focused on overnight recovery. Because if you think it's um, whey protein, also dairy protein is very popular and it's got very good benefits. But there is an opportunity for uh, overnight recovery. When your body goes into a fasting period, we actually don't set the alarm to uh, consume protein after your workouts. And that's what um, the benefit of a slow release protein has. For example, like caseinate. I think this, uh, this picture shows it. It's, uh, caseinate provides you a slow release of amino acid in the uh, contestant and it also gives the society a benefit of that. So with that, I think not only for the regular consumer, but also for elite athletes, it's often an overlooked uh, area of opportunity to grow. We talk about recovery, and that goes back to, well, to your regular state, but actually it's about overcompensation, because with endurance or resistance exercise, you, you yeah, do a little bit of damage to your muscle. Um, and then in your recovery phase, you not only get to that back to that same level, but you overcompensate, you're actually growing. And to do that, uh, we've seen in the past and in uh, science, and even re most recent science as well, uh, protein plays a big part. And f f in that area, I think we've got a great uh, things to offer for our customers. It sounds like it's a real trend and it's really kicking off this year and, and also that you're ahead of the game slightly. Is that how you feel as a company that, that you're leading the way? Well, fair enough. I mean, the, uh, I think the adoption of protein uh, in the market is, uh, is there, uh, is there today already. I think the, um, the, uh, the knowledge about different protein qualities is still, uh, still something we have to educate our consumers and our customers in. Uh, our customers normally will recognize the difference between vegetable protein and the benefit, uh, the other benefits that dairy protein have over them. Uh, and then there's the distinction between, as I mentioned, slow and release uh, and quick release proteins. I think the, the slower release proteins uh, is there uh, today from a scientific point of view, but it's, uh, I think the adoption can be a bit faster in the market and we have to educate our market uh, with that. Uh, having said that, we're also leading, as your question is, uh, on, on new scientific insights. So we're very much involved with our own research and nutritional research, but we also have a network of uh, scientific institutions, but also industry bodies like uh, the ESNA and, uh, and in the ISSN in the US. Yeah. Okay, well, keep up the good work and thanks very much for taking time out. I know it's well, a very busy day for you guys. Thanks very much. Right. Have a good show. Cheers, you too. Cheers.